So, I'm replaying the last Spider-Man 2 game on Twitch right now, right? Twitch.tv slash 2 rail follow me. And I realize, I hate Mary Jane in any way you can think of. Well, except for one. She's the worst, my boyfriend's a superhero, manipulative Karen ever. All of them get themselves into the worst situations just because they know Spider-Man will come save them. It bigs their head up to think they can fight anyone. Again with the jab. Oh! They... Let's go back a little bit. Start with the live action Mary Jane. We start off seeing she's dating the bully of the school. Not only is she dating him, but she does nothing to try to stop him from fighting the man she knows who has loved her since they were little kids. Like, why do girls date the bad boys? You're trash. You're always gonna be trash, just like her. I have to go to school. Oh, I get it. Then she breaks up with Flash and starts dating Harry, who she knows is Peter's best friend, who she knows loves her. Then when Spider-Man comes to save her, she kisses him. But yes, the kiss was iconic, but don't forget, she's with Harry. And after the kiss, she calls Harry to tell him how awesome Spider-Man is. And then she hangs up on him. Then we see Harry walk in the hospital to see Aunt May, and he catches Mary Jane and Peter holding hands. Like, okay, at the end she kisses Peter and realizes he's Spider-Man, blah, blah, blah. But in the next movie, she walks up to Peter in her prime, manipulative form, touches Peter's face, gazing into his eyes, and says, Tell me you love me. She getting Peter all mad horny. While she's wearing the astronaut's dude engagement ring. I need to know but when Peter doesn't confess it, because he's Spider-Man and wants her to be safe, this one kiss. she looks away and says, Peter, By the way, I'm seeing someone. I'm getting married. I was a kid like, you stupid whore! Then later, we see she agrees to marry the dude just to get at Peter. And then worse than that, she's with the astronaut dude. I don't care to know his name, to be honest with you. And tells him to lay down so they can do the Spider-Man kiss. So you're with the man you're about to marry and getting a lady boner for another man? Just getting all giddy about him. Didn't you basically do that on the phone with Harry when you told him about Spider-Man? And then on her wedding day, she runs out on the astronaut dude to Peter, leaving him to never trust another woman again. Yo, cuz is going to be a gym rat F-boy. At least give him his ring back. In the third movie, she's even worse. I didn't think it could get any worser. Her and Peter are together, but then we catch her kissing Harry again. Like, so she breaks up with Peter to be with Harry, but we find out Harry was evil and made her do it, blah, blah, blah. Her and Peter get back together, and the only reason she gets back with Peter is because Harry dies. And nearly 20 years later, we see Dear, Peter say, uh, That's a little complicated. They're still uh, going at it? I guess it's... <sighs> 1994 Mary Jane, Mary Jane jumped Will out of a me? window when Peter proposed to her just to see if he loved her. Mary Jane! Why did you do that? To prove to myself that you'll always be there for me when it really counts. I would have dropped her. Okay, this Mary Jane is dope. Like, great, if you will. Yes, you can say she bullied or made fun of him at the beginning, but that's just how girls flirt. You guys are losers. When she found out about his secret identity, she ain't okay, snitch. I, I'm Spider-Man. What? She helped the group. So, you know, too. The group was now complete. It's cool. Um, I mean, I've known first and I've known longer, but it's not a competition. <laughs> she starts off as a dark cloud or dark goth, but who doesn't like a goth girl? And you see Peter and Ned's energy change her to a ray of sunlight. Like when Ahmed dies and both Peters go to talk to him, she makes him stay there and listen. Times when he's ready to give up, she encourages him. My Uncle Ben was killed. And now she doesn't even remember him? <laughs> Maybe Peter needs this Mary Jane, or Gwen Stacy. Video game Mary Jane, eh. Let's just say we hate playing as her. Like, bro, this is a Spider-Man game. I don't want to play as her. Nobody wanted to do those stupid sneaky missions in the first game. She stayed running off into enemy fire by herself with no backup. Once again, we see she has that 
My boyfriend's a superhero. He's gonna save me. What the type of stupid attitude. Oh. It's like that one friend in COD that runs into a team and he's on the other side of the map. But I gotta admit, in this new game, she was beasted. Hey yo, what the fuck? They turned up her testosterone. She unlocked her inner shocker and was laying these hoes out. Remember when she got shot with the poison arrow and just brushed it off? Alright, that's enough blazing. Because we see her do the most diabolical thing. She turned into 2002 Mary Jane. Did you see her kiss Harry and then ride off in the sunset that's on her Harley? Yo, yeah, Shorty got crazy. Skill she picked up when we were in Look, I know you think you're tough now, but you got the nerve to kiss his best friend in front of me? That's you think your dick is bigger than mine because you got a motorcycle? Then later, you turn into Scream and want to get mad at Peter for not being able to keep a job. You can't keep a job! You can't pay the mortgage! I have a job! With Harry! We'll be okay! And for how long? Girl, you know he's Spider-Man. You see him struggle? You're supposed to be smart, right? Help him and stop complaining like a stupid little bitch. Sorry, I got a little carried away. You know what? She thinks she's tough. Give her her little taser and let her go fight crime and report that. How about that? Do you think Mary Jane is an absolute worst? Let me know in the comments. Also, check out my Gwen Stacy video and my Freezer video if you haven't.